Bottles. I'm Maury. And welcome back to Hotel Dusk, room 215. But we're not in room 215, we're in room Rosa. Rosa. And uh, we're going to go talk about the pop. We're going to talk about pamphlet. the pop. Pamphlet. I think I know what's going on with the brochure. You were talking about... My brochure. <laughs> a fucking course it's Mila's. You mean the brochure Mila was carrying? Yes, that's right. She got a ride from that terrible angel boy in 213, remember? I think she showed it to him, and that's why he came here. And as soon as I saw that brochure, I knew. Talk about Mila's father. What about her father? You said you didn't know anything about him, right? You do know something. She literally said to her that I know your father. So you do know something. Probably. Probably? What's that supposed to mean? Well, it's just that if that girl is looking for her father, then yes, maybe I do remember something. That's so vague. Talk about the promise. You made a promise, huh? I think I know who you made this promise to. A, a stranger. Someone I know. Someone I know. I don't remember what he's talking about. What promise? I don't know either. Fuck. Someone I know. It's someone I know, isn't it? Yes, as a matter of fact. The person trusted me. Trusted me with his secret. What did the pamphlet tell you? What did that brochure tell you? Well, see, I just figured out that if she had that brochure with her, then she must be looking for someone who stayed here a long time ago. Makes sense, right? Sure it does. Anyway, that's what I thought when I saw it. What did you remember? What did you remember? I can't tell you that. Come on, Rosa. I got you an autograph. I fetched wine labels. Trust me for once. I don't know. I don't have a secret agenda, Rosa. I just want to know what Mila was doing here by herself. And what her father was up to. That's all. And why, huh? Oh fuck, she's turning the tables on us. I want to set her free. Nice. And what does that mean? I know a little something about searching for me. I know it's hard. What happened? It died. Oh fuck. Well. <sighs> Not something a girl like her should have to face. Alright, well, we'll let that charge. When you find people that don't want to be found, you learn some hard truths. Mila knows that those truths are coming, but she can't stop looking. It'll hurt when she's done, but only for a bit, then it's over and done with. But until she finds her old man, she's just going to go on hurting. So what's your big secret? What's this secret, Rosa? What are you hiding that can help this girl? I can't tell you, I promised. Yeah, you said that, and I know you mean well. But the person who told you this secret, they told you because they trusted you. I suppose. Then maybe you can trust me in the same way. If it's something to do with Mila, I can help her. And I need you to trust me with it. I'll keep your name out of it. Oh, Senior Hyde, I don't know what to do. Tell I cannot me. even right now. <laughs> Tell me what you know. I'll make sure it doesn't come out, come back to you. All right. 
Don't swear to him! Swear to me! <laughs> oh, God. Yes, I heard you before. Well, if it's really just so you can help Mila, I guess I can tell you. I like you, Senior Hyde, and I do trust you. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I like you too, Rosa. Oh, fuck. But you have to swear that you'll look for her father. SWEAR TO ME! You told her you would, so you have to promise. I will. Well, you see, it's about the old brochure that Mila has Mila was carrying. I knew as soon as I saw it, I knew. I had seen it before. It it's pain. a brochure. You said this already. Where? Where? Excuse me? <laughs> in, Miss, in Senior Smith's room. His office? No, his personal quarters. He normally won't let anyone go in there. But he's such a lazy man. He asked me to clean it once or twice. And anyway, that's how I saw the brochure. And once I saw that Mila had the same one, it all became clear as day. You want to fill me in? Dunning. The poor girl must have been here a long time ago. Why do you think that? Because Dunning told me so. That's why. See, he only became the owner of this place some five years ago. And that brochure is much older than that, which made me curious. So I asked him about it a little while back, about where he got it. And he told me, he said he stayed here once with his family a long time ago. And that's how he got the brochure. Wait. Dunning has a family? Well, I can't be sure about the details. He won't talk to much about himself. But last year I told him a little bit about my husband. And then he talked about his family. What did he tell you? He has a daughter. But I think she lives pretty far away. A daughter? So that picture... That's right. I pretended not to know anything when you brought it up. But I think the girl in that picture is his daughter. But something happened that has kept him has kept him apart for some quite time. Quite 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 some time. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. So when I figured out that Mila was looking for someone, I instantly thought that Senior Smith about Senior Smith. Fuck. That's talking. why you told Mila that you knew her father. That's right! Oh, it just felt so perfect. But Mila looked so sad, and then she left. I see. Senior Hyde, you don't suppose that Dunning really is? No, he's not. Oh dear. Mila's father is a gallery owner named Robert Evans. Oh, but I... I was so sure. Oh, heavens. I opened my big mouth and spoke without knowing. Girl. Don't beat yourself up about it. How can I not? I mean, I... She... Well, now I'm just all kinds of confused. Why? About Dunning. I thought that that was why he was upset when I took Mila in. And why he wouldn't get anywhere near her. So, uh, I guess... There must be something between them. Just not what I thought. Maybe so. <clears throat> you know what Senior Smith said to me? He said, you take her to the police first thing in the morning. And when I asked him if that was really the best thing to do, he couldn't even look at me in the eye. Senior Hyde, I'm just like you. I just want to help this poor girl. I do whatever I can. But you have to help her. I will. But I need to know one more thing. Is there a painting of an angel in this hotel? An angel? Yeah. Wings, halo, little clouds. Angel. No, not that I know of. But we do have lots of apple paintings. Yeah, I noticed that. Land sakes, those things are everywhere. Pictures of apples all over the hotel. Why would anyone would need them? 
that many apple paintings is beyond me. Rosa, I don't care about apples. I care about the angel. Well, we don't have one. At least I've never seen it. Just apples. Again with the stupid apples. Can't sneeze without hitting one of those. There's even one in my room. Well, I guess we can leave now? Right? I want to hear what you have to say. What? Okay. Nothing. Okay. Let's sleep. <laughs> Can we go to sleep now? <laughs> oh, fuck. It's my pager. It's something from uh, J. Jonah Jameson. I've got to call Ed. Alright, let's go call Ed. spaced out. <laughs> well, aren't you sweet? And I'll just make Ed give me a ride. Anyway, he's right here. Parker! Hi, what's a good word? Tell me you got good news, Ed. Tell me about the gallery May and Robert Evans. I shook something loose. Looks like this gallery of yours closed down seven years ago. No kidding. Yeah, it was one of the older galleries in Santa Monica. Seems this Evans fellow inherited it from his grandfather. He was 23 when he got it, and then, and that was back in 1933. Sounds like he had some success. That's what I hear. Our types say Evans had a good eye for the river. <laughs> <laughs> was real good at finding undiscovered works by famous painters. You make any money? Plenty. When new art shows up from famous painters, folks pay attention. Then all of a sudden, nothing. Gallery shuts down seven years ago. Why? Got no clue. When it closes, Ev no. when it closes, Evan does a runner and disappears. And he's been gone ever since? Yeah, real missing person type stuff. Hi, you said his daughter was in that hotel? Think she's been looking for him this whole time? I don't know. I don't think so. I rang up some old friends in, in the LAPD and asked about your case. They say no one in the family has ever ever pressed a full search. That's interesting. I looked into Evan's family, by the way. Wife Mary died in a plane crash in 1960. Like, Iris? Like, Iris's mom? Hang on a second. They had one daughter. Name's Milla. It says Nema. <laughs> Name of Milla. I think that's a typo. I got a couple calls in to some other folks. I'll ring you if it pans out. I appreciate it. Don't worry. If something pops up, I'll get you in the horde. Pronto. So hang on. So Robert Evans owns the gallery, closed it down, had a wife named Mary. Mary dies in the Mary same plane crash of Iris's mom. Same plane crash as Iris's mom. 
meaning that Mary might be Iris's mom, but Grace and Iris are both sisters. Grace Mary's drunk guy was Kevin. Kevin. As Melissa. As Melissa. She stopped working seven years ago, or they stopped doing things. Could it be possible that Grace went to work for the Gallery May in Santa Monica because Evans is her might be one of the boyfriends she knew? Yeah. I don't know, man. It's a little shaky. No, wait, because Evans is her father. That's no, why. Evans is Mila's father. Remember? Yeah, and so, yeah, they just, they just, they just yeah, but you that remember, Robert's yeah, but you wife rem- died. Yeah, but if you remember, Iris was saying that Mary, or we don't know if it's Mary, but uh, assuming it's Mary. Yeah, assuming it's Mary had a lot of boyfriends. Okay. Because uh, Grace and Iris are from two different dads. Oh, right. So, who knows what the fuck is so going on. So Mila might be related to Mila Iris. Mila might be Iris and Grace's half-sister? Sister. Question mark? I don't know. We might be looking too much into this. Let's, let's... And Mila might be Bradley's daughter. Maybe. If Robert Evans and Bradley are the same person, which we don't know. We don't know that. So Robert Evans went missing seven years ago. What the hell happened to him? And I want to know more about Dunning's daughter. Alright. I'm getting close. Let me think about this for a bit. Ed called a little after 11. I wouldn't call it a little. I asked him, well, the first time. Oh. I asked him to check two things for me. One was Gallery May, and the other was... Robert Evans. That's writ. That, that's, that's it. That's writ. That's lit. That's lit. I asked, <laughs> I asked Ed to collect info on Robert Evans and Gallery May. I borrowed an old cassette deck from Louie's room. Then I used it to listen to Iris' tape. It seemed to be a recording of some shady transaction. The person who sent the tape to Iris was... Grace. Of course! That's right. Grace sent Iris the tape. Seems that Iris is actually Grace's little sister. And she comes here to try and find her. From what Iris said, it sounds like Grace is connected to the angel painting. I asked Louie to check the guest log for two years ago but, and see what was there. I had a stroke, sorry, in my brain. And then we went bowling. Go figure. While we were knocking pins, we found something odd in a hallway planner. The thing we found was... Oh, yeah. That's it. When the bowling ball broke the planter, we found an old key. Key's got no markings or anything on it. I got no idea what it's used for. Rosa stumbled across me and Louie's little game and was less than thrilled. But she stopped yelling long enough to tell us that Milo had vanished. Ever, the heroes, Louie and I went to search for her. When I found Mila, she was... On the roof. That's right. Kid was on the damn roof. Rosa said something about her father that upset her. I took Mila back to Rosa's room. Then the Wonder Maid and I had a chat. Rosa told me that Dunning has a daughter. She thinks there's a connection between Mila and Dunning. But she doesn't have any real proof. When we were done, my pager went off and I called Ed. He had some info on Mila's old man. Robert Evans. Seems Evans took a powder after he closed down his art gallery. He went missing about... Seven years ago. That's right. Evans went missing seven years ago. Even made the LAPD missing persons list. Has Mila been, really been looking for him this whole time? 
Iris's tale, Rose's confession, Ed's new info. Things are starting to come together, but I still got questions. Questions about Mila's father, Dunning's daughter, and some picture of an angel. The strands of this mystery are starting to fray. I can see them getting rough around the edges. And Bradley, I think your story is the one thread I need to pull. The one th that'll make this whole damn thing unravel. And that's that. And now we get to start chapter 8! Or 9. I don't remember what chapter we were in. I think we were in chapter 8, actually. We're in A chapter. We're in A chapter. Chapter 9! So there's two more chapters, boy. 12 do we to ever, 2. Do we ever get wait, to Wait, sleep? wait, wait, wait. This takes place over the course of two hours? Usually it's only one. It's going to be a long chapter. It's going to be a long day. It's kind of like how Endgame is now. It's going to be like three hours. And yeah, hours right? And well, anyway... Guys, if you like the video, like it, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. Hit that bell notification if you want to be notified exactly when we upload. Question of the day, and I genuinely want to know this. I have a real question. Do you watch these videos naked? I really want to know. And if so, are you erect? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Put that shit in the comments below. I'm Bottles. I'm Maury. See you next time.